Mick here. In this video, we're going to show you billing runs, one of my favorite features in Tradeify. This lets you invoice multiple jobs for multiple customers in one go so that you can get paid faster and reduce your admin time overall. Let's check it out. First, log into your Tradeify account. On the left-hand navigation menu, head to the Invoices section. To create a new billing run, click on the New Billing Run button at the top right of the screen. This will open a new window where you can configure your billing run. Start by selecting the jobs that you want to invoice for by ticking the box to the left-hand side of the job. Using the filters at the top of your screen can help you easily find the job that you're looking for. You can filter by the job status, a date range, customer, and even categories. You can also use the search function to find your job. Once you've selected all of the jobs that you want to invoice for, click Next. Now you'll need to configure your billing run. You'll have the option to invoice by job or invoice by customer. Invoicing by customer means that one invoice will be created for each customer selected. Therefore, if you selected multiple jobs for one customer, the job details will be combined into one invoice. Invoicing by job means that each job that you select will have its own invoice, regardless of the customer details. Let's start by looking at the Invoice by Job option. You have two configuration options when invoicing by job, using the cutoff date and changing the job status. Use the cutoff date if you're needing to invoice for work carried out on a job up until a specific date. To do so, simply toggle the option on and set a cutoff date. Use the Change Job Status to if you'd like Tradeify to automatically change the job status of every job selected once the billing run has been completed. Toggle the option on and choose the status that you'd like the jobs updated to. Click Next to create your invoices. Now let's look at invoicing by customer. Just like when invoicing by job, you have the option to use the cutoff date and change the job status. Reminder. Use the cutoff date if you're needing to invoice for work carried out on a job up until a specific date. To do so, simply toggle the option on and set a cutoff date. Use the change job status to if you'd like Tradeify to automatically change the job status of every job selected once the billing run has been completed. Toggle the option on and choose the status that you'd like the jobs updated to. Next, you'll want to toggle on what job information you'd like included on the invoice. This can be a helpful way for your customer to distinguish between multiple jobs being charged for on one invoice. Once your settings are configured, Hit Next to create your invoices. After the invoices have been generated, you'll be taken to the Invoices screen. You'll be notified how many invoices were created and if there were any invoices that could not be created. You can review each new invoice using the New Invoices tab. Approve and send the new invoices directly from this screen by checking the boxes of the ones you want to send. Then use the Approve and Send buttons to the right of the menu. You can also send your invoices directly to your accounting software if you have one integrated. Delete an invoice by using the Trash button from the menu as well. Once you've reviewed or actioned all of your invoices, hit the Finish button in the bottom right of the screen. And that's it! You've successfully completed a billing run and created invoices for multiple jobs with ease, making your billing process faster and more efficient. Feel free to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. We have everything from detailed feature guides to customer tips and tricks. If you need any assistance or have any questions, our world-class support team is here to help. You can live chat with us from the app, shoot us an email, or give us a call.